Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome back to BeamNG. Today we're having a look at the 2020 Land Rover Defender mod. You can get this mod from the link in the description. It's on the BeamNG forums and oh my goodness, this is shaping up to be one of the most detailed car mods I have ever seen. The mod developer is really dedicated and is updating it all the time. So in the future there will probably be more content which makes uh, this mod look quite different to what you see in this video. But anyway, I'm going to be giving it a review. We're going to be having a look at this Land Rover Defender, which is basically the second generation of the Land Rover Defender. Um, in about 2015, 2016, Land Rover discontinued the original Defender, which had been around for oh, 30 or 40 years, and um, brought this in, which is slightly more luxurious, but maintains all of the amazing off-road capability. Now up here, I've spawned an automation mod, which is for the original Land Rover Defender, and you can kind of see how it retains the um, basic shape. Um, and a lot of the off-road pedigree is still there for the car. Now I'll leave both of these mods um, in a link in the description. So here we go. Now let's go up here. We're going to go in off-road mode because this car, um, the model is from a Forza Horizon 5 model. It's the Forza Horizon 5 Defender. And then the chassis of the car, the drivetrain and all that, is from the Chery Grac, which is a car in BMNG Vanilla. And we're going to be testing it on the road and off the road. So yeah, the, the original Defender was a brilliant off-road car, uh, especially loved by farmers and explorers and things like that. Um, all around the world, but it was perhaps slightly agricultural. And Land Rover now is, you know, somewhat a luxury car brand, right? They have, they, they also produce like the Range Rover and the Discovery and um, the Evoque and all those, and, and they're kind of luxury vehicles. So this car, despite having amazing off-road capability, it's got a plush interior. Look at this. Look at this modelled interior. It looks really good. Looks really good. Um, we've got massive digital dashboard down here. The mod developer said that it does have the, the digital dashboard sort of works, but the gauges don't like move. So I'm sure they'll be updating that at some point in the future. But yeah, it feels really nice. We've got the 250 model here, which is a straight six diesel. And yeah, it's got quite a bit of power. We can go into sport mode, see if that helps. Yeah, it's, it, it drives like a big, a big vehicle, so yeah. Anyway, we're going to go do a bit of off-road and we're going to go up that mountain at some point. So let's move to a different version. I will show you all of the versions. So there's lots of models. We've got everything from a basic um, straight four, these hard top and I guess non-hard top version, the P300, a police P300, which is interesting, the P400, which is a mid-range model, and then the high-end V8, which I think we should use. Let's use the off-road um, extreme. Take the already special XP400, which is there, and a specific body upgraded with even more powerful stage one tuned engine, uh, grill, skid plate, roll cage, races, and of course big tyres. Here we go. This is what we're going to use to get to the top of the mountain on this small island USA map. Oh yes, look at this. We've got a roll cage inside. Amazing looking interior, wow. Okay, so we're in, um, there's a dynamic mode apparently, which I guess will make it faster or something on the road? I don't know. Or maybe maybe dynamic mode kind of um, automatically selects what mode you best need for the conditions. Anyway, here we are off-road. So yeah, it's, it's quite good on sort of this dirt sand, but really we want to do like some crawling and some off-roading. So let's just let's just go straight up the mountain. Oh yes, yeah, so we've got a big V8 engine that is absolutely demolishing these hills. Come on, yes. So up there, there is like a I don't know why he's actually up there. I thought it was like a radio tower, but maybe not. Oh 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 oh! Break break break! Right. Low range. Oh, let's put um, lock the differentials and range gearbox straight up there. Yes, amazing. Now, what is that? There is a point here, and I don't know what it is. Rocks and now we don't deliver rocks and boulders. Okay, we're still in low range mode, but it's helping us get up here. Yeah, there's like there's like a um, I don't know, it's a radio mask maybe? Can we get up there? Wow! Really amazing off-roader. And here we are with the king of the world at the top of the map. 
I don't play this map often enough anyway. So now we're going to get down uh, in a different model. And let's go for something like, maybe the police one sounds cool. Uh, the police P300, here we go. So yeah, there's so many um, special parts and features of this mod. There's, there's obviously this police version. You've got lots of different options. So when you do control W, you can um, select lots of different things. There's US domestic market stuff uh, specifically for that model. Uh, so many customization things. And of course, there will be so much more to come. Here we go. So this mod creator, I think the name is, what the, what's the name? Jorge Pinto. Has sometimes been updating the mod every day. Which is insane. I don't know how they do that. Anyway, here we go. A bit of, a bit of rocks. Into off-road mode. Oh, yeah. And the Defender is a massive off-road icon. It, um, along with the Jeep, it kind of pioneered these, um, kind of like ma mass market off-road vehicles for um, the general public, rather than just them staying in the hands of the military, right? And they also had like the Toyota FJ and the Nissan, is it Patrol, I think it is? Induction system damaged, oh no. See, so these engines do rely on their turbochargers, because they are diesel. Um, the old ones were just like clattery old diesels which didn't have turbos. They weren't refined at all. Um, but they, they did the job. Now, of course, the, the, the thing for Land Rover is that they've got the Discovery right, which is sort of like this. Look at this interior, though. We've got, um, we've got a radar trap, we've got a computer, and a, and a kind of a bar there to stop the prisoners getting out, I guess. Um... But yeah, they've also got the Discovery and the Range Rover, so they've got lots of cars that kind of compete for the same space. Although, of course, the Range Rover is a very high-end car. They start at, like, what, $70,000 or $80,000, something like that? Whoa, okay. I might be wrong, though. I don't know. Oh, no. That's a good point. I need to do some crash testing of this, because it, I think it's going to look good. Um, it is interesting how they've brought the Forza Horizon model over. That's what a lot of mod creators do, actually. They bring over the Forza models to BeamNG. Oh my goodness, it's all falling apart. Wow. That's crazy. So yeah, make sure to go and support the mod creator um, on the page down in the description. They are uh, on the forums because you can't... I don't think you can share um, branded cars on the repository. You can on the automation repository, but they're not, you know, always identical copies, are they? So here we go, a bit of a crash test. Let me just check which button it is, so I always get it wrong. It's alt and down, okay. A bit of a crash test, here we go. Into the side of this wall. We've got a bull bar on this one. Oh, that is good. Great crash physics there. Yes. That's really good. Considering the meshes from, you know, um, uh, Bitforza, they've had to create something called a J-Beam, I think. Which is like the internal game engine model. Um, and that's what gives the cars their kind of deformation properties. Anyway, so we're pulling up now to, I don't know where. Uh, let's try the lights. Oh, yeah. And then N. Really bright lights that have actually, I think, maybe... No? Okay. Causing massive stuttering on the game. We've got fog lights as well. Oh, yeah. And rear fog lights, maybe? Yes, rear fog lights. Look at those. That's cool. Alt and N to turn those on, by the way. Okay, so let's look at one final model before I finish the video. And that will be... Maybe the V8 Custom. See, it's got 830 horsepower. See, I haven't seen all of them today, but you think you get the idea. Go and enjoy this mod. Um, I've just given you a little taster of what it's all about. So here we go. We're going to go in dynamic mode, in sport. Has this got a... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's got a, uh, what do you call it, a um, launch control, that's what it's called. I think it's actually called two-step in this. But anyway, here we go. Let's see how fast this thing is. Nice tan interior. That's kind of cool. Wow, okay. Pretty fast. This could compete with, like, the Range Rover Sport Supercharge, things like that. Did they make an SVR? I think they might. Anyway, 
Right, big jump. Here we go. Oh, goodness. We're going to go in the sea. And some of these vehicles do have a snorkel. So you can wade through water. Oh, my goodness. Look at that wreck. Wow. And the rear door opens like it should. Oh, amazing, amazing mod. So there you go. The Land Rover Defender 2020. This is a mod that is in constant development. So if there are some things that are different to what you've seen today, um, that's probably just because it's been updated more recently. Uh, go and enjoy this mod. There's a link to it in the description below, as well as a link to that um, automation original Defender mod. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out these videos for more content. Also remember to join my Discord server from the link in the description.